I'm glad you're back. I'm your teacher Lisa. I hope you enjoy your day and learning English with us. Yes, we hope your day will be even better after you spend time with us learning business conversation. Today we're going to learn a topic that Austin and I and students will enjoy a lot: shopping. In the states, we go shopping at the mall. Here in Taiwan, we shop at the department store. Right. I'm sure our students get confused sometimes. Maybe let's take their questions first before we begin our lesson for today. That's a great idea. Next is help me help you. Hi, I'm Timothy. I'm Melody. I have a question. What is the difference between a mall and a department store? Thanks for the question, Melody. This is a good one.、Um, malls and department stores are a little bit similar in that they are both large buildings where you can go shopping. The difference is that a mall is divided by individual stores. You can go to the Gap, H and M, Nike, and so on. A department store is divided by departments. So maybe one floor will be all cosmetics and makeup. Another、uh, department will be women's clothing or shoes, and so on. So a mall is divided by Stores and a department store is divided by departments. Thank you, Austin.、Uh, mall 跟 department store 基本上就是一个你可以进去购物的一个地方。没有错，呃，台湾比较多用 department store， 哈、啊，就是呃呃百货公司。但是 mall 呢，就是购物中心，比较又更大了，哈。他们的区别在哪里呢？刚刚啊、呃、，Austin 老师说。Department store 在台湾可能就是有某一个呃呃，比如说一层楼它是卖呃化妆品的，一层楼是卖童装卖女装。那 mall 呢，就是有可能不同的公司呃不同的品牌，哈一个店一个店这样子很多哈在那边，呃，可能是这样子的差别是不太一样，呃，但是基本上都是 for shopping。All right， 我们看下一个问题。Thank you Austin and Lisa for the answer. My first question is, what is the typical time of the year that malls and stores would have a big sale? Thanks for the question, Tim. There are several times during the year you can look for big sales. The three I want to mention are、uh, before school shopping, Black Friday, and post-season sales or post-holiday season sales. The back-to-school sales happen at the end of the summer when students are getting back to go to school. So you can look for sales on school supplies and clothes, and also things that college students will need as well. Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving, and this is a day when the Christmas、uh, shopping really starts. It's a big deal. A lot of people wake up really early, and it's not for people who are、um, uncomfortable with shopping or people that are afraid of lots of、uh, crowds. It's a very busy day during the holiday season, so only go if you're a really brave shopper. <laughs> And then、uh, last is the post-holiday season sales. These are the sales that happen after Christmas and New Year's. And so people are done with their big holiday shopping and maybe are even returning things they don't want. This is a time when stores are trying to get rid of the things that they they have too many of. So you can find some really good deals at this time. Okay, 谢谢 Austin 老师告诉我们在北美 shopping 的时候，什么时间是最好的时间？第一个就是 back to school， 就是开学前，通常就是同学生孩子们买一些啊。呃，就是他的呃文具用品的最好的时间，还有衣服啦等等，还有一个就是他说到的，就是 Black Friday， 呃 ，Black Friday， 就是通常是叫是呃那个 Thanksgiving 的第二天，那一天呢是很大的一个一个。呃，一个呃销售的一个一个一个日子。如果你是很害怕拥挤的，你可能不会在那一天出去买东西。但是那一天很多很多人会去买，而且都有很多的好的 sale。还有一个就是 post season， 就是季节过了哈，换季大拍卖，这也是一个很好的时间，可以买到很好的东西。Lisa 老师要特别提到的，就是有一些更便宜的，就是待会也许我们也会再提，就是 yard sale, garage sale. Okay, we、we'll、wait later. We talk about that. Okay, 我们现在先看下一个问题。I have another question. On average, 
How long is the return or exchange period of a purchase item? Thanks for the question. This is really going to depend on the product that you're buying and also the store that you buy it from. Some stores will accept any return even if you've used the item and other stores won't accept any returns at all. So it really is um, up to what product you're buying and then what store you're buying it from. On average, I would say that you will need the gift receipt or the receipt that proves that you purchased the item. And usually the time limit is around 30 days. But as I said before, it really depends on the store and what you're purchasing. Thank you, Austin. This is Uh,是几乎你都会,他都会接受退货。那同学要注意的就是,呃,receipt,一定要保留。还有,有些东西,呃,如果你拆开之后,你不会,呃,不喜欢,你就不要再用了。因为用过他们也不会接受退货的。
some keywords and phrases first before we watch our skits. These keywords actually have more examples in your study notes. So, if you have time, go and review more there. 同学们,待会我们看我们的对话的时候,我们待会会先看keywords uh, and phrases. 但是事实上,在电视上教学里头,我们还有更多的keywords and phrases 在我们的双周刊。所以如果同学有时间的话,可以更多的review, 所以对对话的内容就可以更多的了解。我们现在来看第一个生字, post-season sale, 季后拍卖。Post-season sale, a discount given after the regular period begins. For example, many of last year's styles were on sale in the department store's post-season sale. What are your thoughts on something? 你的看法是什么? What are your thoughts on something? What do you think about something? 这个意思就是指你怎么看待某事物? For example, what are your thoughts on this skirt? Do you think it is too expensive for the quality? 你认为这条裙子怎么样? 你会不会觉得以这样的品质来说是否太贵呢? Puffy, 很宽松的。Puffy, big, round, and light. 这个意思就是指大的, For example, coat styles are really puffy this year. large, Large, a polite way to express someone is fat. 这个是指比较礼貌的来表达某人是有一点胖。For example, she is much larger after having her baby. 她在有了小孩之后变得比较胖。下一个是in,流行的。In, fashionable, stylish, trendy. 这几个字都是一样的意思,就是in,时髦的,有形的,时尚的。For example, the color black is in this season. 比如说,黑色在本季是流行的。下一个,second opinion,第二个意见,其他人的意见。Second opinion, another point of view or attitude on someone or something. 对于某人或某事的另外的观点或态度。For example, getting the second opinion saved us a lot of expense. 听取其他的意见让我们节省了大笔的费用。下一个是ages,许久。Ages, for a long time. 很长的一段时间。For example, I hadn't seen my classmate for ages. He really had changed. Becoming. Becoming. Make someone look attractive. For example, the styles this year are really becoming on you. Overrated. 高估的. Overrated. Not as good or important as some people believe. For example, the new product was highly overrated. Run into, 偶遇. Run into, meet by accident. 碰巧遇到. For example, guess who I ran into today at the grocery store? Uh, 猜猜看, 我今天在杂货店遇到了谁啊? Well, we learned many keywords and phrases. 
Now it's time for you watching the skits. So pay attention to those vocabulary we just learned. Conversation one is about two friends who are shopping together in a mall. They are interested in each other's opinions. Conversation two is about two friends who are also in a mall and they are talking about fashion and getting their hair cut. Now let's watch our conversation one and two. I really enjoy shopping here in the mall. The only problem is, it is open so big. I don't know where to find what I am looking for. I'm pretty familiar with this place. What are you in the market for today? Do you have any ideas about where I can get a good buy on a jacket? I saw in the newspaper, Dillard's is having a postseason sale on jackets. If you're not worried about them being in the latest style, that might be a good place to try. Sure, let's try there first. What do you think about the quality of this jacket? Mm, it looks okay to me, but what are your thoughts on the style? It looks a little too young for me. Yeah, that's my sentiment exactly. What are your feelings about this one? It looks too puffy. Wouldn't it make you look larger? You don't want that, do you? Definitely not. What do you think of this one? That's really you. Do you think so? In your opinion, do you think this will still be in style this coming season? I think so. Put it on and let me see how you look in it. What do you think? My opinion is, take it, you won't find anything better. If you were me, which color would you buy? If I were you, I would choose this one. It goes better with your eyes and skin color. Okay, I'm sold. It's so good to have a second opinion. Lisa, where have you been keeping yourself? I haven't seen you in ages. I've been pretty busy these days. You know how it is with work and family. Well, you're looking good, but there's something different about you. I know now, it's your hair. You've changed it a little. How do you like my new hairstyle? It's very becoming on you. Do you really think so? Absolutely, it makes you look younger. That's good news. By the way, what do you think of this bag? I just got it on sale. It's terrific, so unique. Yeah, the sales lady told me that they only made a few of each style. Hey, I need to ask your opinion on something. My daughter wants me to take her to see Meeting the Kids this afternoon. Have you seen it? No, I haven't, but my daughter saw it a couple of days ago. What were her thoughts on it? Well, to be honest, I wouldn't waste your time. She said it is really overrated. Glad to hear you say that before we wasted our time. We'll probably choose another movie. Yeah, I would if I were you. Great to run into you. And thanks for your advice. Take care of yourself. You too. When many people are in the market for this particular product, what does that tell us? Good question. It tells us this particular product is popular and more likely that it won't be on a sale OK, 这个意思就是告诉我们这项产品很受欢迎，而且它有可能不再促销了。For example, few people are in the market for this product today. 今天几乎没有人要买这项产品。Also, uh, uh, how can we get a good buy on something? Do you have any good suggestions on that? Usually you can get a good buy on something you like at a postseason or clearance sale. 
Some anniversary sales give a great discount as well. Wait until those special sales. You can purchase what you like at a better price. 通常你可以等到季后拍卖或清仓特卖时期的时候买，这些价钱会比较好。你有喜欢的东西，还有有些周年庆的促销活动也会给予比较大的优惠。等到这些特殊的销售活动的时候，呃，你就比较能够用划算的价钱买你喜欢的东西。我们请阿斯老师给我们例句。For example, I got a good buy on this set of towels. They were 50% off. The regular price. 我用很划算的价钱买到这套毛巾，价钱是正常价格的一半。呃、uh, ，There was another phrase、uh, talk about my sentiments exactly. 呃、uh, ，What does that mean? This phrase is used to emphasize that you agree with someone's thoughts, ideas, or suggestions. 好的，这个意思就是表达。来强调你同意某人的思想、看法跟建议。For example, I think this is the lowest price you will ever find on this item. My sentiments exactly. I get it now. Okay. 呃、uh, ，这个对话就是说，我认为你已经找到这个最低的价钱了。啊，我同意你说的，我现在就买下它。Okay. Uh, Austin, when someone said that's really you, what does it mean? Good expression. This is used to describe whatever you are wearing as being very suitable for you. 好的 ，I see. 这个表达法就是说，某样东西你穿戴起来很好看，非常的适合你。That's really you. 真适合你。For example, that color is really you. It matches your eyes. 那个颜色真适合你，和你的眼睛颜色是相衬的。Well, Austin, can you be sold? Well, this is terrible. You know, when someone said that, does this expression "I'm sold" carry a different meaning? Yes, it does. It doesn't mean you are being sold by a gang or any illegal group like that. Uh, this expression simply means you are being persuaded to do something. In this chapter, it means to buy something. 好的，呃，这个意思就是说，不是说你被非法集团给出售了哈。在本章中，这个表达法就是意味着你被说服去买东西，去做一些事情。所以在这个对话里头，就是这个意思哈。Sell， 哈 ，I'm sold， 哈，我被说服了。哈，我们看例句。Sell， for example， okay， you've sold me， I'll take it。Okay， 你说服我了，我会买下它。For another example, I'm sold. I'll go out and buy one tomorrow. Okay, 我被说服了，我明天会就会出去买一个。呃、uh, ，Austin, what are the differences between long time no see and where have you been keeping yourself? What's the differences? What are the differences? The meaning is actually the same.、Uh, to express that you haven't seen the person in a long time, one is more casual and the other is more formal and professional. 好的，这两个表达法其实意思都是一样，相同的，表达你很久没有看到某人了。一个比较随意，哈 ，long time no see， 哈。另外这个表达法就是说 ，Where have you been keeping yourself？ 啊，你最近都躲在哪里了？这比较正式，比较专业一点。我们看例句。For example, where have you been keeping yourself? I have come by your office twice, and you weren't there either time. 哎，你都在什么地方啊？我已经来两次，你的办公室来两次了，两次你都不在。Situations. Here are some ways that are used to ask for people's opinions and ways to express opinions. Okay, 我们来看 Lisa 老师问他哈，问 Austin 老师 ，How do you like my new hairstyle? I like the cut. What do you think of this bag? It is very nice. What do you think I should buy him for his birthday? I think you should buy him something that he needs. Should I buy this one or that one? As for me, I like the white one in the back. If you were me, which one would you buy? If I were you, I would choose the blue sweater rather than the pink one. What do you think of the style? Would this be in? In my opinion, this style will be in next season. What do you think about the quality of this backpack? 
As I see it, the quality of this backpack isn't as good as the other model. I heard you bought a notebook computer. How do you like it? If you ask me, this notebook computer is running amazingly well. What are your thoughts on this movie? My opinion is that this movie was not that great. 同学们，我们现在来看 Conversation One and Two. Replay this time. I really enjoy shopping here in the mall. The only problem is, it is often so big. I don't know where to find what I am looking for. I'm pretty familiar with this place. What are you in the market for today? Do you have any ideas about where I can get a good buy on a jacket? I saw in the newspaper, Dillard's is having a postseason sale on jackets. If you're not worried about them being in the latest style, that might be a good place to try. Sure, let's try there first. What do you think about the quality of this jacket?、Mm, it looks okay to me, but what are your thoughts on the style? It looks a little too young for me. Yeah, that's my sentiment exactly. What are your feelings about this one? It looks too puffy. Wouldn't it make you look larger? You don't want that, do you? Definitely not. What do you think of this one? That's really you. Do you think so? In your opinion, do you think this will still be in style this coming season? I think so. Put it on and let me see how you look in it. What do you think? My opinion is, take it. You won't find anything better. If you were me, which color would you buy? If I were you, I would choose this one. It goes better with your eyes and skin color. Okay, I'm sold. It's so good to have a second opinion. Lisa, where have you been keeping yourself? I haven't seen you in ages. I've been pretty busy these days. You know how it is with work and family. Well, you're looking good, but there's something different about you. I know now. It's your hair. You've changed it a little. How do you like my new hairstyle? It's very becoming on you. Do you really think so? Absolutely. It makes you look younger. That's good news. By the way, what do you think of this bag? I just got it on sale. It's terrific. So unique. Yeah, the sales lady told me that they only made a few of each style. Hey, I need to ask your opinion on something. My daughter wants me to take her to see Meeting the Kids this afternoon. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. But my daughter saw it a couple of days ago. What were her thoughts on it? Well, to be honest, I wouldn't waste your time. She said it is really overrated. Glad to hear you say that. Before we wasted our time, we'll probably choose another movie. Yeah, I would if I were you. Great to run into you, and thanks for your advice. Take care of yourself. You too. I'm afraid that we need to stop for now. Before we close, could Austin help our students to review what we learned today? Gladly. We learned how to make social talk when shopping by asking for other people's opinions. We also learned how to express our own opinions. We hope this lesson has been a useful one for you. Try to use the expressions you learned next time you go shopping. Remember, if you use what you have learned, you will remember it. Okay, have a good day, and hope to see you next week. Bye bye. Thanks for tuning in.